My name is Megan Nash and I am 32 years old. I graduated Ball High in 2001. I am the first Universal Access class fall of 2001. I graduated from Galveston College in 2004 with my general studies, um, more focused on business. And from there I transferred to Texas A&M in Galveston for their Maritime Administration program with a minor in economics and I loved it there, it was great. Um, so the Universal Access program helped me get started here at Galveston College and I ended up staying because they were helping me pay for my classes. And then I finished my degree at Galveston College and transferred to Texas a I started working at Galveston College about a year after I started at Galveston College and I've been here ever since. I've been here 13 years and I love, love, love my job. And I'm not just saying that because um, this is at, being presented at my school or my job, but I really truly do love my job. I love coming here and helping students. I actually handled the Universal Access program through our office and I love to be able to help every student that comes out of Ball High get some type of financial aid to attend here. And I just think that's a great opportunity. One of the most common things that we get from Ball High students and parents um, that they misunderstand through the scholarship program is that it's two free years and it's not two free years and it's not free you have to earn um, you have to earn it so when you come to school here you know you don't just register and then register and then register you have to pass your classes maintain a certain GPA um, be enrolled in so many classes be enrolled in a degree program so you can't just come and just take classes you have to earn it every semester to keep getting it. Universal Access Scholarships are supported through donors from the area. Local businesses, local people, um, uh, local organizations. Um, it's all supported through private funds from local businesses and local people. So I just think that makes it great because these students that graduate from Ball High are our students. They're Galveston students. But it's not just Ball High, it's O'Connell. It's students who live here who are homeschooled. It's students who live here and receive their GED. So all of these students have the opportunity to come here and get some type of financial aid, whether through the Universal Access Program or through the Pell Grant Program, but they're all able to start here. The Universal Access Scholarship Program is very unique. When I go to other conferences in, in our state and in other states and explain the Universal Access Program to other financial aid offices, they are floored with what we're doing here. I don't think that the students who are on Universal Access Program, the Universal Access Scholarship Program, realize how unique and, and such a great opportunity that they're given. Um, but with over 1,500 students, that have gone through this program, they would be the best to advocate for these types of programs in other schools, um, advocate for this program to become larger. I'm a firm believer that uh, any student who graduates, whether it's community college or a four-year college, when they get established in their life and in their career, to give back to the schools that gave to them. I am, I have a 13 year old son and a three year old daughter and I am, was born and raised here on the island. My family has been here, my parents were born and raised here on the island. Uh, my brother and my sister all live here, all my nieces and nephews live here. Uh, we are very proud of to be here and to continue to be here. We have no intentions on leaving here when we think of business ideas or ventures that we want to do. It, it, stays on the island. My goal for my son, he is 13, and graduating high school is right around the corner. So my goal for him is for him to graduate from Ball High and attend Galveston College for at least a year and hopefully two. Um, I want him to get comfortable with college life. Um, it's very different from high school life. I want him to be able to take the classes here that would, quite frankly, cost less and he would have access to the Universal Access Scholarship Program. And that is, for me and him, a big deal. It's a big deal. I have two children, I'm a single parent, and I have a good job, but at the same time, education costs. And for him to come here would help. Galveston community is very unique. We are a very close-knit community. Um, I still talk to some of the same people that I went to high school with that still live here and they're successful, we're successful, and we stick together. And I think that we want things to be better for our children too. So 
and and we're out there we're also very giving and the community if they knew the capacity of what this program does then they would want to give more and do more to make this program more successful and long lasting i would hope and pray that this program is still here for my grandchildren and what will you do to assure that I will donate. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. I will give back. I will give back and I will help fundraise and I will help students that come through the door, give them guidance to get in the right direction that they need to, not just funding wise, but education wise. And I will do my best to make sure that it's here for my grandchildren.